Hey guys, Lonok from Knife Guys Review. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a very basic sheath uh, for knives that don't either don't have sheaths or didn't come with sheaths. So this is basically made out of completely out of duct tape and cardboard. Um, for this, you're, you're going to need duct tape, obviously, and cardboard. But uh, you're going to need um, also a sharp knife to get some exact cutting done. It doesn't have to be a pocket knife like this. It could be just a box cutter, whatever you have. But it has to be sharp. And a very good idea is to have a cutting board, something to cut on. That's also a very good idea. Um, but before we get started, I'd like to apologize for my absence uh, with the channel lately. I've been working on my first year of college, so I haven't really had time to post very much. But I'd like to apologize for that. Um, the reason why I'm making these sheaths is for this weekend. I'm going on a camping trip, and I need... I sharpened these up because they were really dull um, kitchen knives. So I sharpened these up and I didn't really want these sharper knives laying around in a, in a bin somewhere for somebody to get cut on. So I wanted to make sheaths for them. I already made, I already pre-made this sheath. Uh, it's pretty, the outside and inside are completely covered in duct tape. So it's pretty much waterproof at this point, which is really good. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how to make this. Uh, and hopefully I could do better with my second sheath than my first sheath. This one's alright. It's pretty good. I got this uh, this kind of duct tape thing going that, that holds on to the wood handles of this kitchen knife pretty well. So that's good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to transition so you can see my workspace down here. So you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I think I got covered everything. Going for the camping trip. Oh yeah, you can expect... Uh, hopefully video from the camping trip. I'm really going to try to do some filming. I want to film. Uh, we're going, the camping trip is tomorrow. So tomorrow afternoon, I'm hoping to set up the, the tent area. I'm hoping to hopefully have some footage of that. I really want to get you guys some footage this year. This is the third, third, fourth. Fourth, fourth annual camping trip for my birthday. Yes, my birthday is in the beginning of May. I will not tell you which day, but I will say it is under or before May 10th. So that gives you an idea of what my birthday is. So we're going uh, for this weekend. We're going for my going camping for my birthday, and on Friday, Friday night, we are going to ATV to the top of a mountain or a mountain. I don't know if it's a mountain. It's, it's just a really darn big hill. Pretty darn big. It takes an hour and a half to get there. So, yeah. Anyways, from the ATV. But anyways, I'm hoping uh, I'll have some footage of that. The sunset. It should be really fun. Hopefully, all the people at the camping trip don't have issues with being recorded or put on the internet. Um, but anyways, why did I talk so much there? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> anyways, I'm going to transition now so you can see my workspace. And hopefully you guys will be able to make this with me and learn something I'm in the process and maybe get some enjoyment out of it. All right. See you in a bit. All right, guys. All right. So I'm here and I have all the necessary materials. I have my cardboard. I got my duct tape. Let me get this out of the way. And I have my sharp knife. And I also have my Red Bull. Sponsor. No, I'm just joking. I just really love Red Bull. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. So, first up, give me a second, let me um, meet up my, alrighty, so first what we're going to do is we want to line it up, we want to see just how much room we have to play with, so we have to kind of take the entire length of the blade and we'll just kind of set it up like this and we'll be able to see how much room we have, and we have about another inch and a quarter to work with, so I'm going to put it about right there. Okay, so the handle is going to be covered up to about the first, uh, up to about the first uh, little, oh my gosh, I love knives so much and I don't know what the heck that's called, the, the pin, is that a pin? I think that's a pin, oh my goodness, I can't believe I don't know that. Anyways, so we're about about that much and I got to make sure we have enough room on either side. So I'm going to have the width of the knife plus maybe 50% of the width, 
you know, about give or take. I'm going to make a cut from here. No, don't make your cut. Let, let me just make this cut and show you what I mean. Okay, so I have, this is the entire box and I kind of cut this out and folded it down. So that way when you put the, the, the handle on there, the handle kind of pushes the cardboard out of the way so the blade can be flush with the cardboard. Like that. Okay? So that kind of works out pretty well. Um, then after you do that, um, you want to do the same thing but to the other side. So you, again, and what you could do actually is, and you're going to actually need to do this anyway, so this is actually a pretty good idea. Right where you made that cut, it's only about an inch down. It depends on your knife that you're doing it with, but in about an inch down, you want to fold it right on the cut. So I'm going to, I'm going to use the back of the knife to kind of pre-fold it so it folds more straight. I didn't cut it. I definitely did not cut it. I just ran the back of the knife on it to kind of give it like a little crease that, that it could follow like this. Okay, so just like that. Then right where, oh, I got it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this knife and I'm going to cut right along this line down here. After you fold this over, I'm going to cut right along this line. And it's going to be a little bit larger it's not going to be exactly the same size, but it's just going to be a little bit larger. All right, so there's this. Now you could bend this flap on the top over as well, like this one. So these two flaps are kind of bending over. But make sure that this one down here is perfectly fine straight, so your cut is only going to go down that far, like that. So, after you do that, at this point, what I do is I take my duct tape and I cover the entire inside with duct tape. That way, if you get the blade wet or uh, you drop the sheath in water, your sheath isn't completely ruined or doesn't get completely soggy. The best way to do it is just to completely cover the entire inside with duct tape, you know, because duct tape is water resistant. So, how I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to put three strips down the middle. So I'm going to take one and make it slightly longer than the overall length and have it equal with the middle pan or with the middle crease like this. And I'm going to rip it about an, about an three, whoa, about three quarters of an inch down here. I had a little oops there. I got a little rip, which stinks. But that often happens with good quality duct tape. And this is pretty good quality. This is, I don't know, I think this is ace duct tape, but... So I'm going to fold this over, fold this crease over. It's not a big deal. Just get it out of your way. Just fold it over. The top is more important, so fold the top over. Make sure it's on there good. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the other side, and then I'm going to put one down the middle. So just like this. And like this. See if I can rip it straight this time. There we go. So rip, uh, fold, first fold the bottom, then fold the top. Make sure it's nice and stuck to the to the cardboard in the middle. So make sure it's just all pressed up against and there's not too many air bubbles. And then fold over the side. Like I said, the side doesn't matter that much. It's the top and bottom that matters more. The side is just going to get covered. All this back is just going to get covered by more duct tape. Um, let's see. So after that, now. So you can kind of get an idea of where we're doing, what we're going here for. So the knife is in there. Now I should put it the other way. It works better that way. No, this way. Yes. Works better that way. So now, let me think. Now what I think we should do is you should put your knife in there and take your duct tape. Make sure it's a full slide or full full piece. Make sure it's enough to go around the entire sheath about one and a half times. Or so I'm doing more. I think I, this is probably enough to go around twice. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. 
and right at the bottom of your crease here where these where these flaps are, sorry, I should be in, in camera shot, right at the bottom of this flap here, right where that bends is where you want to place the top of this piece. I'm going to overextend it just a little bit. I'm just going to overextend it by about, was that half an inch? Yeah, that's about two thirds of an inch. So right here, so again, right where your crease is, that's where you're going to put the very top of this slice. There's, you did probably, well, it depends. Anyways, so that's where the top goes and the bottom goes here. And you're just going to make sure you squeeze, make sure you squeeze the two pieces of duct tape together so there's no room for, you know, wiggle room. You want to tightly wrap it around there. That's the first step. Now, that's the most important part of the sheath. If this top piece isn't tightly duct taped, then it's, this entire thing is going to wiggle out. The knife still does come out like that, but don't worry, we're going to get to that. Um, and actually, that's what we're going to do next. So this time you could, I took, I think I did enough to go around twice last time. So I'm going to take a little bit less because you don't need as much for the second time around. I'm going to overlap uh, this duct tape by about, I don't know, the one quarter of the overall 